Hi, I'm George Duffy and I live in Vernon in the North Okanagan and I grow things like grapes organically. When we first moved to the Okanagan, one of the things we had to learn for organic gardening was how to deal with the hot summers and the intense sunshine. One of the things we like growing in the hot Okanagan sun are eggplants and you can see this little one here. But it does call for some different techniques to keep the plants from wilting and we found this nice product called kale and clay which you can put on the leaves which reflects a lot of the heat but doesn't harm the plant and it actually acts as a little bit of a, a deterrent against some insects. We read about uh, something called the hugel culture and the hugel culture is really just uh, a combination of things. Uh, it's, a, it's a mound that's made up of dirt and uh, wood refuse, logs and things like that. And the idea is that during the winter rains and, and, and uh, spring rains water percolates into the soil and percolates into the wood and then as the summer goes along the wood slowly releases the water moisture back into the soil and helps feed the plants that you're growing and that really takes a lot of the need for uh, additional water off of you and you can see we've done that with this beautiful raised bed of squashes here. Another one of the techniques that we learned how to use in the Okanagan here is something called a wicking bed and the wicking bed is made up of uh, a raised bed like this and it has a layer of sand and gravel at the bottom and that is uh, topped off with a layer of topsoil. So what happens is you feed the lower layer of gravel and sand with water and then the water percolates up through the roots and feeds the plants. And you can see we've also uh, brought in this nice layer of mulch which keeps the soil moisture really high and you can see we have some beautiful celeriac growing here. Another technique we use in the Okanagan to keep some of the heat off of plants is this white cover. It's uh, porous, lets, lets water in uh, if you have any rain or if you have any watering from the top, and it also lets good sunshine and keeps the heat out. And it does a really good job of protecting the plants against cabbage worms. And you can see we have this beautiful full head of cabbage here. We grow organically because we want our garden to be biodiverse. We think it's important to be able to have lots of insects and lots of birds around and we didn't want to use anything that had any chemicals that would harm them. We've been buying West Coast seeds for about 10 years now. We like them because they are organic, they are non-GMO, and uh, you can get a lot of open pollinated seed there. I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of our organic Okanagan garden. Let's not put that eggplant picture in. <laughs>